there's only one step involved to setting up a Google Ad Manager account, previously called Double Click for Publishers. And that is go to admanager.google.com slash home and all you need to do is sign in with your active AdSense account. So once you are approved with AdSense, go ahead, go to this URL and sign in. Follow the prompts on your screen and it will bring you to a page like this. And you're now ready to use Ad Manager account or double click for publishers, which is Google's ad server. Initial setup of your ad manager account, I would recommend going to admin global settings. And this is where you will see all the network settings for your account. But the display name here will be blank initially. So nominate or put in any name you want here that would describe your company. It could be your company name, your first and last name. It's really up to you. Eventually, if you have multiple ad manager accounts, this display name that will show up here, which is actually called your network name, will be your identifier so you're clear on which account you're working on. The network code that you have here, there are three places you can, where you can find it on your account. You have it on your URL, you have it in here on the upper left hand corner, and you also have it here on your global settings. So this is important when you talk to Google support, when you chat with them and get some help, they will be asking you for your network ID or network code, and this is the number that you provide them with. Time zone and currency will also be here. This is dependent on settings when you set up the account. For example, you set up your account using an address in Canada, then the time zone will be based on whichever address you put in there the same with the currency. Now, these two are important because when you run your reports on Google Ad Manager or DFP, they will be using these settings by default. Now, you have other settings that you can check, toggle on or off in here, and then once everything is set, go ahead and save it. Still under Admin Global Settings, you need to pay attention to the Limits tab as well. This will tell you how many, let's say, line items you're allowed to create per order and all the other maximums or limits on your account. You also have there for your inventory and key values and reporting. Under access and authorization, users, you will see which people or email addresses have access to this account. This is also where you can add a new user if you want to share access and collaborate with a team. Under linked accounts, this is where you can run or connect or link an AdSense account or an Ad Exchange account to run them on dynamic allocation. Watch out for that on my next video tutorial.